Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you how the new video elements of Elementor, the free version, looks and what you can do with it. So I click here on edit with Elementor and I want to have two columns and I drag it over here. So I click here, I search for video and I drag it here and there it is. It starts with a placeholder video. So there are so many new possibilities. First we can have a source, YouTube, Vimeo. Daily Motion and self hosted, and those two are new. I start with YouTube, and if I grab this link, for instance, this video, copy it, I paste it, then it looks like this. You see the title, you see my thumbnail, and you can click on play, and then you see all this stuff over here. What can you do? You can change the start time. So, for instance, if I want to go to the video element, so over here. 3202, so let's say 32 minutes. Then I can click on share. The left option over here. Start at 32 minutes. And then you see 90, 20 seconds. I copy it and I paste it here. Or I say 1920. And now if I click on play, that's what you can do with the text editor. So I can say, 24 like that so it starts over there so i can have this video and use one video on all my pages and i can start at a different timestamp. you can also have an end time so if i take a look over here at video 35:52, share 35 51 for instance 2151 i can say 21 Five, one. And now if I click on play, you'll see over here that only this area this will be shown. So that's what I like. I scroll down. I can have auto play. I can make the video mute so you will hear no sound. I can loop the video. Over here it says that the player controls are shown. If I uncheck this, you see no play bar anymore. So that can be really handy. Suggested videos, I like to turn it off. So at the end of the video, you don't see different videos, but you see the thumbnail over here. And when you click on privacy mode, it says over here, when you turn on privacy mode, YouTube won't store information about visitors on your website unless they play the video. You can turn it on if you want to. Then I go to image overlay. You can turn it on so you can have a different image over here. So if I only want to show the video element over here, I can choose an image which has everything to do with the video element. So for instance, this one, insert media. So now it shows all elements, but in this case, the video element. How do I want to show the image? Full play icon over here, or I can turn it off. I like to turn it on. Do we want to have a light box? So if I click over here, I open the light box and then the video player starts. I like that. So then I can go to style. Aspect ratio, I can change it. I can change the color of the play icon, make it green or something else. I can change the size, text shadow, which is the shadow of the play button, and the light box, the width, it's up to me. I leave this empty. I want to put it in the center. I can also put it at the top and I can have an entrance. So I say fade in. So I update it. I take a look. And if I click on it, it's shown like that. What else can you do? We can say remove this area so you can show it like that. Or you can duplicate it. Remove this and place some text over here about the video. So there are a lot of options, but those are the options of the video editor. I remove this column and I duplicate it. I click here and I go to Vimeo. Now I need to scroll down to the image overlay and I need to turn it off. So you see the video of Vimeo. I click here. Over here we can do the same things even change the colors of the control. So right now they are blue. I can change them to green. 
you can have an intro title over here or you can turn it off. You can turn all the other things off. And then we have the image overlay again. So also here you have a few things you can change. I duplicate this area. I click here and I go to daily motion. And again, image overlay, remove. And also here there are a few things you can adjust. And then the latest one, I click over here and I say self-hosted. So I can grab a video over here. This one, for instance, insert media. Hi there, thank you for getting in contact with me through the happy form of Ocean. So this is self-hosted. I can change the start time after five seconds, for instance. Dot, dot com. I hope I will answer your question. Autoplay, turn it off. I can mute it. I can show the player controls. You see how fast it is loading. So I turn it on or I turn mute off. Update. So here we have YouTube, here we have Vimeo, here we have Dailymotion, and here we have self-hosted. So that was it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have a question, please leave a comment. If you like the video, please like it. And if you haven't done so, please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the notification icon. And in that way, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Have a great day and you will see me the next time. Bye bye.